First of four farmers impacted by the avian flu outbreak are finally getting some financial help. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Evan Forrester. State officials announced a $25 million program to help the poultry industry recover from avian influenza. Fox 43's Paula Bayoso explains how the grant program will work and why some families are certainly grateful for the support they'll receive. The second week of April was a busy one for Heather Lewis and her family. They were getting ready for their next flock of chickens, which was scheduled to come in in the next few days. And that was when the first case of avian influenza was found in Pennsylvania, more specifically in our neighborhood. Plans were put on hold as the family waited to see what their future would look like. What stopped our world and brought our days of farming as we know it to a halt turned other people's worlds upside down. 17 farms in Berks and Lancaster counties have lost more than 4.2 million birds. However, there are many, many others uh, that had uh, direct income losses due to the proximity to these positive flocks. The financial impact of the outbreak was of about $34 million. And that is only uh, for the loss of the uh, poultry uh, and some of the cleanup and response effort. It does not address uh, any of the recovery, and that is where uh, we stand uh, today to talk about. The Agriculture Secretary, Pima, U.S. Department of Agriculture and Industry Partners announced a new $25 million recovery and reimbursement program for poultry farmers and integrators impacted by highly pathogenic avian influenza. The first round is for poultry farmers and integrators and to only those premises located in the three kilometer infected zones as defined by the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture's general quarantine order. Round two will be open to those who suffered losses in the control zones. The funding was designed to be flexible enough to cover various related costs and we're moving quickly to get the money into the hands of the farmers who need it. Lewis and her family say words will never be enough to express the gratitude they feel. I never thought I'd have the opportunity to thank the people who worked so hard to ensure that our way of life could continue and we could get back to the business of raising America's number one source of protein. But here I am. Paula Belloso, Fox 43 News.